All right, we're making peaches and cream. So we're just getting our peaches ready. We already washed the peaches. wedges and then peel them. One inch wedges and then peel. Yeah, it says it should peel easy if you... Peeling these weren't an easy task. Um, it says if they're ripe, they peel off easy. We had one that was ripe enough and it was the hardest to peel. So, I mean, frozen could be an option. The price difference was, I think, only 40 cents. You would just thaw them and kind of pat them dry. And there is always the canned option. And you would probably use two cans, drain them, and reduce, you wouldn't marinate them in sugar at that point. All right, we're gonna slice these up in quarter inch or one inch wedges. I sliced them and then I cut them in half as well because they seem kind of big. They were big peaches. It'll be easier bite size maybe, we'll see. I'm sure it's gonna taste good regardless. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. I'm just going to shake some. It's probably good. Five tablespoons of sugar. One, two, three, four, and five. I washed the lemon. We need a teaspoon of lemon zest. Here's the micro plane that we like to use. Teaspoon of lemon. Put that in. Just do a quick little mix. This can be done a little bit ahead of time. It's going to sit with the cream as well. But we're doing a little bit ahead of time before that, even just to because the peaches weren't super ripe. We can make our cream mixture. You need one and a quarter cups of heavy whipping cream. We're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract one tablespoon of sugar. Mix until it's thickened and whipped up, but still pourable. You wanna whip the cream to where it's formed, but still totally pourable. Can you see that? Okay, now we're going to we have these glasses, rocks glasses, and one Sunday's glass. We're gonna spoon these peaches into the glasses evenly and then pour our cream over. Here we go. And yes, we're gonna use that juice. Some of the, some of the garnishes you can use at the end are some more lemon zest, some sprinkles of cinnamon, a vanilla wafer, some granola, a mint leaf. Make sure you use that juice, pour it over. smaller glasses. Okay, this is what we have. Just a little bit of cinnamon. I'm 
and maybe a little more lemon zest. So we have this, and we'll just zest it right on. All right, guys, there we go. These were a very, very popular fancy dessert in the South at fancy hotels for brunch. Peaches and cream. We go in the South to a hotel, get a brunch item, and there you go. And it says to cover and put in the fridge for an hour and let them just chill and marinate even more. Cover with saran wrap or cellophane. All right, let's see, let's give it a taste. See, it has the pretty garnish. You can see this has juice. You want to probably get some cream with every bite. That's mostly cream there. Oh, I do like the cinnamon. Mm, that's good. These peaches could have been a little riper. They have good flavor. It's a little crunch. Like I said, you can use frozen. And you can use canned. So good. Guys, celebrate and have some peaches and cream. It's peach season. Enjoy. June 19th is National Peaches and Cream Day. So go have some peaches and cream somewhere or whip up your own. Enjoy. That's pretty fancy.